What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to be checking out the Ultimate A-Frame Trailer Jack. We have it installed right here. It's a top winder, so you can raise and lower it from up here. Manually. It also has a foot plate. Let's check it out. So I've got it wound all the way up now. I want to show you the unique feature about it right out of the gate. I'm gonna pull this pin. You can twist this arm and then you can bring it all the way up it snaps into place and you can see that it brings that foot or that down tube all the way up here up and out of the way so this way if you're hooked up to your vehicle you can pull this all the way up and then it's not hanging down you don't have to worry about catching anything on the ground bending your jag you don't have to replace it if it doesn't get damaged now just to be clear you don't have to use it fully all the way up or all the way down you have several holes here and they go in two inch increments allowing you to adjust wherever you want it so you have plenty of options it slides easily it's not like a tart or anything but sometimes it gets stuck and you just kind of shake it a little bit and it'll drop back down but the lever always moves very easily that's very smooth and snaps back into place on its own too so just like that and you shake it back and forth a little bit it goes back into place so I did like that part of it. The handle too moves very easily, no issues. Bring that foot down or pulling it back up. Even with the weight with the trailer, it's no big deal. It still turns pretty easily. Now it does have a steel construction with a zinc coating. So it's gonna hold up to those elements because you're gonna leave it on your trailer outside. That rain, the snow, and all that's not gonna bother it at all. It also includes a foot plate but if you'd rather have a wheel caster, you can get one of those too. That's a separate part on our website. That way, if you want a wheel at the bottom so you can move the trailer around while the jack is down, you can do that. This lever sticks out from the jack. It's not on your standard jack, so it's something to keep in mind. Make sure it doesn't make contact with anything on your trailer. We're gonna go from the center out. Looks to be about four and three quarters. And then we'll use the handle too from the center again. Looks to be six and three quarters with a handle. As far as weight capacity goes, it has a standing weight capacity of 3,000 pounds and a lift capacity of 2,000 pounds. So what that means is it can lift a tongue weight full load of 2,000 pounds, but if it sits here in place and has 3,000 pounds on there, that's okay. So it's a really good jack. It's got some really good features. I really like that you can lift this part up and get it up out of the way. That way it's not dragging down there just in case you actually run over something or it gets stuck. You don't want to bend the jack and have to replace it. There's a few things to consider when looking at the jack and seeing if it's going to work with your trailer. We had some issues trying to install this on a few different trailers today. So I just want to pass that on to you so you can look at what you got and see if that jack's going to work or not. We tried to do it on this enclosed trailer behind me. If you come down and look, these are the threaded bolts holes here, and those are in always in fixed positions. They're always going to be the same spaces apart. And let me bring this down, show you right next to it. And that was a problem with this one because these are like the slotted holes. So when we went to go put the washer and bolt in there, because of the spacing, the washer made contact with this base, which is a little bit wider than your normal one. This would be like the normal jack size. You can see how this one's bigger here at the bottom. So then the washer would hit or the bolt head would hit when you went to go install it in those pre-threaded holes. So if you have that on your A-frame trailer, this may not work with it. Something else to consider is if you have a toolbox on your A-frame trailer. Now this one is a top winder, so to lower and raise the jack, you're gonna have to do that. And you can see how, I know this isn't exactly where you're gonna put it, you're gonna put more here in the middle, but either way, you're gonna make contact with that toolbox. And you can still wind it like this, you can go at an angle, but that's just kind of slightly annoying. You wanna be able to do this nice wide turn that way you can quickly drop that jack and lift the trailer up. Another thing to look out for, we ran into it on this trailer, is this has a cross brace here that goes up on the trailer. Now since it has to be installed this way, the lever actually made contact with that so it wasn't able to install it on this trailer. So if you have something like this on yours, you might want to keep that in mind that this is probably going to make contact and cause some issues. This trailer we found it will work with. We have the slotted holes down here so we don't have the threaded holes so it's going to fit right in where we took the old one out just drop it down like that you can also see there's plenty of room between the handle and toolbox so there's not going to be any contact there we already checked now it doesn't come with hardware so you're gonna have to get your own 
It's usually bolts and washers. So we'll put the washers in place and because they're slotted in longer out, I can set this out here and still get the bolt in and not have any issues. So we went ahead and tightened it down and the jack is installed. I had to reach up in here. You couldn't show you with the camera because there's not a lot of room, but I had a washer and a nut that went up and in there, use a wrench and an impact on top to tighten it down. Another thing to note is that in the instructions, they want you to back this out and add some Loctite on there and run them back in. This plastic piece just kind of helps guide the tube up and down. That way it doesn't fully drop all the way out or come out of the top. The last thing we gotta do is install the foot plate. So we're just gonna lift it up and match up the holes on the down tube, bring our bolt, run it through the inside, and then add our nut on the other side. Now come back with a ratchet and a wrench and tighten it down. With it installed now, we can see it in action. So just gonna flip this lever here. It easily pushes over with one finger, so it's not like it's hard in place. You can just turn it and it releases the jack. So you can shift it down and then just push it back over. And as you either lift up on it or push it down, it's gonna latch into one of those holes there. Now it's set in place and I can lower it. And this is what I was talking about with yeah, if the toolbox was closer, you could still do it at an angle like this, but a lot of these little turns are gonna get annoying. Even the full range of motion takes a little bit to get it lifted up and off these jacks here. As long as you don't have any of the clearance issues that we did and it works with your trailer, I think it's a good jack. I like how it's got a lot of the down tube here all folds up on itself, so there's not a lot of it hanging down when it's all said and done. When you go to pull this pin and lift it up, this is going to be more up here, which brings this up here, which means it's not going to drag on the ground. You can't accidentally hit something with it and bend it. You're not going to have to replace this anytime soon. With that being said, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out, and I hope this helped.